Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video we're doing today and I've recently created the task of re-re-rewatching The Flash because I've rewatched it after I rewatch after I first time watched The Flash in August of last year. So that's when I started watching The Flash. So I thought I'd re-rewatch it because before I re-rewatched it, I, I just re-watched it in jumbled up parts. Like I started from season three, then I went to season one, then I went to season two, but I didn't watch a lot of season one because I thought it was the most overrated season and not the best season yet. But I can tell you right away, it's not. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, I want you to click notifications and subscribe if you want more videos like this and like, put a thumbs on the comments, Wait, what the heck? Put a thumb on the like algorithm. If you don't like it, put a thumbs down. No one's stopping you. No one can blame you. Okay, so today we're re-reviewing The Flash, the complete first season. And first of all, we've got to talk about the characters. So the character... Sorry, I was listening to what my mum was saying because she's phoning somebody. <laughs> uh, the characters are just an instant 10 out of 10 because of Cisco, Caitlin, Barry, I even Iris. Eddie, e Eddie Thorne is another great side character that was very forgotten, really, because he died a tragic death and everybody forgot about him. I mean, Barry still remembered him from, like, the first episode of season two. But that's not good enough. That's why he came back as Cobalt Blue in season 9. But anyway, we're getting off the topic here. I've simply got to give season 1 an absolute 10 out of 10. I was totally wrong the first time I watched it. I don't know why I give it an 8.9 out of 10. Rewatch that video again. It was the Flash Complete first season review. Posted on the 21st of September last year. Um, I give it an 8.9 out of 10. Which it... it, it I need to knock some sense into me because season one was the perfect season of any superhero show you can ever watch. The Flash will always beat DC, anything DC, as well as Arrow. Arrow can beat anything DC as well. The Arrowverse is just the ultimate cinematic universe for the DC universe. Even Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow is a goated show. I mean, yeah, do I think season two is slightly overrated? Definitely. Uh, do I think Legends of Tomorrow season one is better than season two? Hell yeah. Do I think Supergirl season one is better than Supergirl season two? Again, hell yeah, because Supergirl season two is somewhat unbearable. But um, yeah, that was that show the introduction of Monel. Uh, I do like that character, but season two of Supergirl was just bad. So, yeah, maybe it might turn out like The Flash season four, because at first I didn't like that, but then I actually got to like it, and then I loved it by the last episode. So I gave season four of The Flash like an eight out of ten, or a 7.9. Yeah, yeah, that, that seems like a fair review. <laughs> But there are a couple of few, maybe even a few episodes of this show that I actually don't remember seeing for the first time, like in season one. Like, for example, season one, episode 14, were, were, what's his called, Albert Stein? I can never remember his name, but Dr. Stein, Ronnie Stein, I don't know. Anyway, Albert Stein, we're just going to call him Albert. Albert Stein got kidnapped by General Eileen and he was tortured because they, she, he was like... You know, what's the secrets to Firestorm? And, you know, that was a great episode. Uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Raymond actually returned for that episode. And I actually really thought Ronnie was a great addition to Team Flash. It's a shame he died in season two. At the end of season one, if you could say. Because season one ended on such a good cliffhanger. My jaw is still on the floor from watching it last night. Uh, the villains, again, I think are a little bit too goofy for its own comfort, like The Mist, he was goofy, bald-headed Lex Luthor ripoff who could turn into green gas, which looked like fart. Um, the guy, Rainbow Raider, uh, he was quite a good criminal. I kind of admire the criminals, goofy criminals more nowadays, because like it's like they're just trying to have a little bit of fun with the show. They're not major criminals. I think the major criminals are Leonard Snart, Reverse Flash, Eobard Thorn, and Cap 
I already said Captain Cold. Uh, Mark Marden, again, Weather, Weather Wizard was a great villain. He was uh, pretty menacing and he actually destroyed Central City. Um, but The Flash ran back in time to save it. So I'd give season one of The Flash a definite 11 out of 10. It was the perfect season for The Flash. And now I'm going to start season two, episode one, The Flash of Two Worlds. That's low-key one of my favourite episodes of The Flash. Uh, season 2 is still my favourite season, so we're going to watch that now, right after I've posted this video. And I'm going to do a season 2 episode 1 review after I've seen it tonight. So bye guys, thank you for watching, give a like and give a subscribe. Bye guys!